Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday the outgoing U.S. Naval Force Central Command, 5th Fleet Commander Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo at Al Safriya Palace. His Majesty the King hailed the decades long historic relations binding Bahrain and the U.S., which are based on trust, respect, and joint coordination. He praised the steadily growing cooperation, particularly in the military and defense fields, towards serving joint goals and aspirations. He praised the efforts of Vice Admiral Paparo, which contributed to bolstering military and defense cooperation. His Majesty awarded the Bahrain Order First Class to Vice Admiral Paparo in recognition of his key role and great contributions to supporting the outstanding relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries across all fields. Wishing him success in his coming duties, Vice Admiral Paparo expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the medal, hailing His Majesty's efforts to strengthen the solid strategic relations and joint cooperation. He commended Bahrain's vital role as a key partner in supporting efforts to consolidate stability and peace in the region. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo, Commander of the United States Naval Forces Central Command, U.S. Fifth Fleet Combined Maritime Forces. Mrs. Maureen Paparo, spouse of Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests. In recognition of the great role played by Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo, Commander of the United States Naval Forces Central Command, in supporting the distinguished friendship and cooperation relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America in all fields, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will award Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo the Order of Bahrain First Class in appreciation of his great efforts and contributions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 50 for the year 2021, appointing Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Under Secretary for Political Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Tawfiq Ahmed Al Mansour as Under Secretary for Consular and Administrative Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and Talal Abdul Salam Al Ansari as Director General of Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Majesty also issued Decree 51 for the year 2021, appointing Jamal Abdelaziz Abdelghaffar Al Alawi as CEO of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority for a term of three years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday chaired the weekly cabinet meeting remotely. The cabinet highlighted the progress made by the national vaccination campaign on the occasion of World Vaccination Week, noting that high vaccine uptake and a strong commitment to precautionary measures is the path to overcoming COVID-19. The cabinet then praised the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries efforts in stimulating commercial activities and instructed the formation of a working group to follow up on the recommendations made by the Joint Economic Committee, which is shared by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. Later, the Cabinet extended its condolences to Egypt's president, government and people following a passenger train collision in Qaloubia province. The Cabinet approved the following memorandums. 
The Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the request for approval to sign the Strategic Cooperation and Sustainable Development Framework of 2020-2022 between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the United Nations Resident Coordinator in Bahrain, which establishes the Framework for Cooperation. The Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance on the Developments of the East Sitra Housing Project and the measures it took to accelerate its completion. And the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the Government's responses to 10 proposals and 3 proposed laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed, uh, reviewed the following topics. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft law on external auditors. <coughs> and a memorandum presented by the Minister of Education on the Ministry's progression in relation with the government program for the years 2019-2022. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Roosevelt Skrit. His Royal Highness noted the importance of exploring new mutual beneficial avenues of cooperation with the Commonwealth of Dominica that bolster direct investment and create new opportunities, as well as upholding cooperation with international partners and addressing pressing global challenges such as COVID-19. The Prime Minister of Dominica expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's support towards strengthening bilateral cooperation. The Representatives Council held its weekly session remotely, headed by its Speaker Fauzi Azainal. The Council was notified of the message received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister concerning a draft law amending some provisions of evidence law in civil and commercial matters promulgated by direct or decree by Law 14 for the year 1996, which was referred urgently to the Committee of Legislative and Legal Affairs. It was also notified of uh, the message received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister concerning a draft law amending Article 1 of Law 28 of the year 2006 concerning the future generations reserved to be referred to the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee. The Council also discussed Decree by Law 26 of the year 2020 amending Article 173 of Decree by Law 54 of the year 2002 on the Council of Representatives statute. The Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, announced that the Be Aware Bahrain app developed uh, to support national measures to combat the COVID-19 has further strengthened user identification methods by adding a feature that allows for the photos of vaccinated citizens and residents to be displayed. Offered in cooperation with the Ministry of Health, the new feature aims to help authorities and businesses to quickly identify the app's users and their vaccination status. Establishments in the kingdom will be able to ensure that individuals entering their premises are vaccinated by matching their faces to the photos on the application. The IGA, in cooperation with other relative authorities, continues to improve the Be Aware app, Bahrain app by adding services and features, deploying advanced technologies to reduce the impact of the global pandemic and lie with the kingdom's national efforts to combat COVID-19. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 612,834 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 484,518 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 10,845 with 1,310 recoveries and 1,008 registered new cases and five deaths. 379 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 583 are contacts of active cases and 46 are travel related. The deceased were a female citizen aged 65, three female expatriates aged 64, 62 and 55 and a male expatriate aged 40. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.